Welcome for math lesson. Uh, I want to continue with the probability. In, the, in this lesson, I'll be teaching a question which involves picking some items without a replacement. The next one, I'll be doing a lesson whereby we'll be picking with replacement. So now I want us to check how we can calculate probability, in which case there is no replacement after picking. <clears throat> in our case here, we are given a box containing 3 brown, 9 pink, and 15 white cloth pegs. Then the pegs are identical except for the color. Therefore, when you are picking the pegs, you cannot sense which peg you are picking until you remove it and identify the color. Then we are told two pegs are picked at random, one at a time, without replacement. So we are picking two pegs here from a basket containing or a box containing three brown, nine pink, and 15 white. Then we are told to find the probability that both pegs are the same color. So the first thing we will do here is to come up with what we call a tree diagram, which is a simplified format of outlining all the possible outcomes. So we have which contains brown, pink, and white. Then we are told the pink ones, okay, we can start with brown, they are three. So the probability of picking brown one is three out of one. Then picking pink is nine out of 27, and picking white will become 15 out of 27. So that is the first picking. <clears throat> now we go for the second event, which is independent from this one. And uh, this one, so if you had picked brown, you can still pick a brown again. You can pick a pink, you can pick white, a white pink. Now, we are saying that there is no replacement. Without replacement, that is the key one. Without replacement. So if it is without replacement, then it means if we had picked a brown one, then picking brown again now goes down to 2 out of, they are now 26. So if we had picked a brown one, now picking a brown, the probability, instead of 3 now, they are totaling to 2 now, and the total has become 26. Then the other ones, if we had picked, picked brown, then pink has not been affected. So pink will remain 9, but out of 26. And white will be out of 26. Then now if we had picked pink, we can pick brown, pink, or white. If we had picked pink, picking pink again now goes down to 8, 26. Then if we had picked pink, picking brown is not affected. So it remains 3 out of 26, and the white remains 15 out of 26. There is no replacement. You can see in the second picking, they are out of 26. Out of 26. So if we had picked white, we can pick brown, we can pick pink, we can pick white again. So if we had picked white, picking white again now becomes 14. Out of 26. And the pink is not affected. So instead of pink was 9, probability now becomes 9, but out of 26. And the brown remains 3, but out of 26. So this is the correct tree diagram for such an event, whereby we are picking without replacement. So these balls can either be blue, not blue, but brown, followed by a brown. Brown, followed by pink. We have brown, white. Then we have pink and brown, pink and pink, pink and white. Then we have white, brown, white, pink, and white followed by a white. So now we want to determine probability that, find the probability that 
both pegs are of the same color. Both pegs are of the same color. The same color means probability. Same color will mean probability white and a white or probability a pink and a pink or probability brown and a brown. So basically that in both picking then the pegs are of the same color. This will give us white and white will be 15 out of 27 by 14 out of 26 or means addition pink pink will be 9 out of 10, times 8 out of 26 and finally a brown followed by a brown will be 3 over 27 multiplied by 2 out of 26 multiplied by 2 out of 26 so now we can work out this one using a calculator very fast 15 by 14 we divide by 27 by 26 this gives us 35 out of 117 plus 9 by 8 by 27 by 26 this gives a probability of 4 out of 39 and finally 3 by 2 divided by 27 by 26 that other part gives us a probability of 1 divided by 117 so when we had up this case we will have 35 over 117 plus 4 4 39 plus 1 117 this gives us 16 out of 39. Yes, the final probability. Therefore, probability that uh, the balls picked are of the same color will just be displayed here. Thank you for following. Subscribe to Shifting Grids.